and welcome to another Sprinkler Talk from Project Fire. And today's video is going to be about this innovative product called Gemini. Gemini is a pre-action sprinkler head for use in buildings where you have areas such as server rooms where you want sprinkler protection but you don't want the risk of accidental water discharge. We have a whole Simple Show video to explain all the benefits of this product um, and how it works and where you use it etc. But this video I want to focus on the actual mechanics um, behind it. How does it actually operate? Um, what happens when one head operates? What happens when both heads operate? So we have a special cutaway version to show you uh, so I can explain exactly what happens and when, uh, where the water is at every point and how in the event of a genuine fire the water will only be discharged through one of these heads. So hope you find it interesting and enjoy it. So here I've got a cutaway Gemini head uh, to show you and I'm going to explain to you uh, how it works from a kind of internal point of view and actually the mechanics uh, of what it does. So I've got the controller unit here uh, and that has got power going to the panel and then we have the cable that runs from the controller out and it goes to the first head and then from the first head it will go to the next head, to the next head, to the next head and then the last head has got a special cable in there with an extra resistor so that it knows that that's the end of the line of the sprinkler head. So it's not, it's not a loop, it's a line of cable that joins them all together. We've got the cutaway version here. So when the system is at rest, so when there's, there's no fire, there's no activations, uh, the system is in its normal state, then the water is held back at this point here. Okay, so the sprinkler water is here, pipe work and the rest of the pipe work of the building is up here in the ceiling void. If we were imagine that this head is going to operate, so that's going to activate, then this plug here is going to fall down and it's going to seal via this seal here. The water will then going to enter the Gemini head, it's going to flow through and it's going to fill up this cavity. Now it's not going to come out of this head because this, this bulb is still intact. But what it is going to do is it's going to raise this float up until it creates a, a contact and that's going to give you an alarm on your panel so you know that there's been an activation. If there's a real fire then this head will operate and the water will be discharged out of this head. Let's reset the panel and now let's think about it the other way around. So now this time this head is going to operate first. So this head operates, now this, this mechanism here is then going to cause this pin to drop down and that then brings the float down till you get a signal on here. Okay, so the water is still held back at this point. If this head then operates, then this plug falls down, the water comes in and through and out through this sprinkler head here. So you can see it doesn't matter which head operates first, you will get an alarm and then if both heads operate then you get water discharged through this head only. And that is how Gemini works. So now you know all about Gemini and how it works on the inside. If you want more information about Gemini or any of our other innovative products, why not get in touch with us here at Project Fire or visit our website where you can download a whole host of information including the data sheet, instruction booklet, brochure and the all important BIM files. Hope to see you again soon for another Sprinkler Talk.